Hi, I am Mandy of Mad Cow Mandy Designs. It is July 20th, 2023, and this is Stitch 66. I'm back! I am home. I feel like I have not been home in so long. It's only been a week and a half, but it just feels so much longer than that. So let's talk about all the yarny stuff and then we'll get into life and chatter. A uh, quick reminder, you have about a week and a half left to enter the knit along that I am hosting for the potato chip socks. So week and a half is plenty of time to start if you want to join in and plenty of time to finish up whatever you are working on. Don't forget to use the Google form that is linked down below to submit your entries. Um, I saw a couple starting to come in. I'm so excited. Um, the socks are so pretty. Okay. Let's talk finished objects. Up first. I finished my sock week socks. So sock week is hosted by Natalie of Nitty Natty. And the goal of it is to have fun and challenge yourself to knit one sock in eight days. I challenged myself to knit a pair of socks in eight days and I did it even though I wasn't home and I forgot to put my phone on silent. Okay, fixed. <laughs> um, so yes, these were a little bit of a challenge because I ended up traveling and not being home and I can't knit socks in the car. Um, I can knit, it just has to be something that I absolutely never look at and I tend to look at the beginning of a round. So, uh, this is the Hissy Fit sock set that came in January's box from Southern Skeins and it's so pretty. I used my two by two feet sock pattern. Um, had I been thinking, I would have made vanilla. Like, I was not home. I was doing a lot of things. I had a lot going on. I should have just made vanilla socks. But oh well. I did notice I messed up, um, I messed up my patterning. Doubt it'll show on the camera, but right about here. I messed up because I was playing Family Feud for Sock Week and I was frantically nervously knitting the entire time um, which was very calming. I put a lot of nervous energy into that sock. My bad. Um, but Family Feud went great. I had a blast. So yay! So happy to have those done and not only you know are they you know kind of sharky oceany themed they also are one of my subscription yarns for the year, so that was two birds, one stone, getting those knit up. Um, I will go ahead and put in a little graphic here that I keep tucking into the video every so often and never saying that it's in the video so that you can look up and see it. Um, my bad. Uh, it is the suitcase for summer sock camp and how everything is going. And every time I finish knitting one of the yarns that is in the suitcase, I take a picture of it and put it over the yarn in the suitcase. So here's that photo for you. And you can see how I am doing. And off the top of my head, I can't remember how I'm doing. I do know that that yarn was in the suitcase. So there's at least one more in there. <laughs> oh, up. Next is stuff for work. The internet is a bad influence. I have all the spooky feelings and it is July, y'all. July. Apparently, we celebrate July 4th and then on July 5th, it is the beginning of spooky season. Or so the internet tells me. I'm feeling it. And so I'm embracing it. I just went with it. He is kind of really bright in this room. <laughs> um, I am feeling spooky. I have a show in October that I will be attending uh, as a vendor at. So 
while I have all the spooky feels, I am going to make the ghost. This is one of those plushy Chanel yarns. It was loop, loop and thread snuggle, snuggles, something about snuggles. It's very, very soft. I, oh, I like it. So this is a pattern that I wrote um, because I just wanted a little ghost. I wanted something really simple and ghosty. And this is actually the bigger pattern because when I tell you that I have all the feels, I have a problem. So this is my original pattern and he glows in the dark. He's a little glow ghost. Ah! Look at that skirt on him. He's so cute. So I made four of these and while on vacation, I found glow in the dark pastel yarn. So I ordered that and it came in purple and coral and then a pink. Not a huge difference between the two, but a little difference. A blue and a yellow. And then of course I ordered more white because this was left over from last year that I didn't get to finishing. Um, but the white ones that I made last year sold really well. We'll see how these guys do. I am actually ahead of schedule and doing well this year. So I am going to be listing them on Etsy, which is something I did not manage to do last year. Oh, they're just so darn cute. And I took photos last night because I'm going to get them on Etsy. I took photos last night and I was trying to take some with my phone. I'll put in a video that I got with my phone of the white glow ghost um, because they showed up really well. But the other ones, the pastels don't glow quite as bright as the white ones, which is disappointing. So I grabbed this camera and with the help of my husband, we swapped out the lens because I know nothing about photography. Can't do it. Um, he helped me. We swapped out the lens and took a long exposure shot uh, in the dark. It was so much fun because, I mean, they're just kind of like sitting there glowing and we don't really know how the photo is going to turn out. And then it turns out amazing because it looks kind of dim on the screen, but with the long exposure, it gets all the light and all the brightness and oh my God, cue some photos because it was adorable. All right. The spooky feelings do not end there. I have started stitch markers. Um, not all of the stuff that I ordered has made it in yet, but some of it has. So I went ahead and started and with any luck, all of this will be listed on Etsy by the time you're watching this video. That is today's goal. So I have this adorable little witch's hat. And it comes with three of these little loops here with the orange bead on them. Uh, that is $6 set, the witch hat and three beads. And then these little guys, oh my God. Okay. It's a little skull. So you'll get two of these guys with three of the orange bead loops for $6. Uh, I am also going to renew the listing for these little things and they're going to come in color options now because I, I now have color options. I didn't have this many beads before. Um, originally I only had this kind of teal turquoisey color. I now have yellow and orange, so you can get a five pack of those in your choice of color. The, the last one. Oh my God. I should have brought a knitting needle in here with me and I did not. Okay. Here we go. I have a rainbow of skulls 
How cute are those? Oh, the yellow is not turned. There we go. Oh, and that knocked. Okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I have better photos. Uh, anyways, I have these adorable rainbow skulls, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and everybody's looking the wrong way. Y'all are so cooperative. Love it. Okay, so I have these, and you can either get the whole set as is, or you can pick your favorite color and get it in a double so that you get the neon and black skull and a little white one. <gasps> ah! Y'all, I'm in heaven and I didn't make myself one. What was I thinking? I made all of these sets and I didn't make myself one. So you can either pick which color you want as your double or you can just get all singles as the rainbow on the Etsy listing. I am so excited. I have been just busily working away making all these stitch markers because I am feeling all the spooky feels. Loud noise. There we go. So, oh, it's fun. All right, that brings us to works in progress. And we are gonna start with one that you have not seen in a while. My Fates Thread Beetlejuice bag is housing my dad's muscle burl hat. Ah! I forgot I put the yarn in it. Um, oh yes. Oh yes. What else is in there? There's something else in here. Oh. <laughs> I was looking for this. It was in the hat. Okay. Um, I currently have the yarn in the hat because, well, things happened while traveling and I just made a hot mess of all my bags. It, it was a thing. Did you know that at Bucky's, the beaver nuggets, they, they come in just a plastic bag with no zipper or anything and I didn't have a clip to keep the bag closed, but the bag will fit in one of these bags, like perfect fit. So to try and keep them fresh and not from rolling all over the vehicle, I had beaver nuggets in my bag. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this is Southern Skein's Night Owl sock set. It came with this gray mini and this beautiful green. Dad told me he wanted a green hat, so I am making him a green hat. Like, he said lime green. There's a lot of blue in this, but it is lime green. So, my spooky moon from Pretty Stitch Designs, and a skull and crossbone that came from Wonderful Wool Halloween Advent last year. Uh, I am getting close to the decreases. Let's see here. If we fold it in half. goes to here and my decreases start about here. Yeah, so I just have mm, maybe two inches. I think I'm actually gonna count rows. That's not something I usually do, but just so that I know it is like spot on, perfect, even, I think I'm gonna count the rows and make the same number of green rows on this side as I did on this side so that this is spot on in the center. But I don't think this is car knitting anymore. We don't usually go anywhere long enough. Everything's within five minutes of the house. So we don't usually drive far enough that I need a project to work on. And I'm certainly not going to do decreases while in the car. So that might be time to be a house project. Let me just finish it. Be done. Next up, my bag that my dad printed for me. Um, I may have made a little mess while on vacation. There are actually two socks in here. 
One of them is the night market sock that I haven't, I haven't touched. I haven't done anything to, so I'm not gonna show it. Um, this is a new cast on. Like I had any business casting on a new sock, I did. Uh, this is Universal Yarns Bamboo Pop Sock. It is the first time I am ever working with it, and oh my god, it is so soft. Uh, the colorway is High Tide, and I am calling it my beachy socks because they did go to the beach with me. I didn't work on them at the beach, but they did go with me. Uh, this is where I am so far. I have a vanilla sock, uh, one inch of ribbing. It'll be four inches, and then I'll put in my Fish Lips Kiss heel, which is my go-to. I have this happy little pineapple. Well, I'll just turn you this way then. It's Happy Little Pineapple from Bronze Shepherd Studios. And what is this? What is this? I'm magic looping. I went to a yarn store. If you missed that, go back to my Florida vacation video. I show the yarn store, I talk all about it, but I decided to give Magic Loop a, a a try. Like I've tried it before, but I decided I was going to try it and I was going to try it correctly. I bought Chow Gu Red Lace Needles 24 inch and I don't like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm trying. I I am trying. Um I actually had a viewer message me on the Florida video um, and tell me how happy she was that I was trying Magic Loop and that it's always really wonky and awkward to try something new and she was just proud of me for trying and y'all when the message came through I was actually working on this sock and debating swapping it out for a pair of my high and high flyers because I don't, I'm, I'm not liking it. I don't know how you're supposed to hold all of this. Like, I don't know. It just seems kind of fiddly. If somebody wants to send me a video of them holding their magic loop, I wouldn't mind that because where, where does this cable go? I've been holding both of them to try and prevent the laddering that happens right here. Which so far I'm doing okay with laddering, but then again, you know, I also like hold both of these over here and I don't know, I've always seen people working from this side and this side makes sense. I got that. What do you do with this stuff in the back? Like, do you, do you hold both of them? Is this correct? Somebody help me out here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And I don't know, something about like having it pull this whole cable out and then pull it all back. It just seems a little fiddly. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying. So that is where I am with that. This was not in the suitcase for summer sock camp, which makes for the second pair of socks that I've worked on this summer that did not come out of that suitcase. For me, that's not bad. I've accomplished a lot of what was going on in the suitcase, but I didn't, I, I got, I got led astray. It happens. In my summer sock camp bag from last year is my Stephen West surprise sock along. Um, I am going to talk about it for just a minute before I show anything. And if you don't want spoilers, there are chapters down below now and you can just skip over to the next chapter because this is the last of the whips that I'm going to talk about. So I am finished with Clue 2. I have not started Clue 3 yet. I got it as I was going to bed last night, this morning, and read through it and yeah. It, it sounds about about right, um, but I haven't actually started working on it yet because I've been a little bit busy and I haven't exactly f 
finished Clue 2. I only finished Sock 1 of Clue 2 because I've been busy. Yeah. Um, so, a lot to do still. And let's talk about Gage for a minute. He has Gage listed in the pattern. I was making Gage. It was correct. He had the size for your socks. Like, if your foot measures this, you make size this. I needed, according to that, to make size two of the pattern. And then I looked at the cast on and I was like, absolutely not. I am getting Gage and my socks fit with a 56 stitch cast on. Size two wanted me to cast on 70 stitches. That sock's gonna fall off. So I did size one, which is 60. All good, except there's cables. There are cables like right after the cuff and it cinches in on my fat little calf and I'm not going to be able to wear these socks because of the one feature. There's like just that one little band in it that makes the socks unwearable because the rest of the sock is fitting. I need to try on the second sock and see if maybe I loosened up enough. I tried to intentionally knit looser on the cables in that. So maybe I'm not real mad about it. I chatted with my husband and we decided that these are going to be wall socks. They, when I finish them, they'll be beautiful. I will block them out and hang them on the wall. They're just going to be beautiful socks that I can't wear. If, you know, I've definitely learned a lot, which is why I wanted to make these. And if I decide to make them again, I will know. I will change up a few things and maybe I'll just make parts of these. So make sure that doesn't show real quick. I am working with Southern Skeins Trick or Treat and Fangirl Fibers Thousand Yellow Daisies. Sock number two is this right here. Uh, this is the beginning of Clue 2. That's as far as I made it for this one. And I have my sock blocker from Monster Knits. It's this cable right here that is giving me trouble. And I think I got it looser on this sock, but not on the first one. Now, on the first sock, I have finished Clue 2. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, this, this right here is a lot tighter. Anyways, so all of this fits and this definitely fits. Uh, I'm assuming that the heel is going to fit. I can't really try it on because he stopped us halfway through a heel. Um, this is beautiful. I have no idea how it's going to hold up because I slip my shoes on and off. Um, my shoes don't actually have like a tongue to them. They're meant to be slip on shoes. And so I feel like that's going to rub a lot. I'm curious to see how it goes. And I mean, it's really cute. I might have to think about that. I love my fish lips kiss heel, but I mean, that's just cool. Um, this looks really nice. Wasn't super fun to knit because of the fact that it's so much purling. Uh, all these white blocks are pearls. Now, this section, I really, really like. I enjoyed it. I think it looks nice. So I might just make a pair of socks completely out of that. We'll have to wait and see. But going
going well, enjoying it. Like I said, I have the next clue. So I really need to get to work and make that. It has been a day. Um, this is the chatter section if you're not here for that. There is no more yarn. So, <laughs> um, it's been quite the day. You know it's been quite the day when it is three in the afternoon and I'm just having my second cup of coffee. Yeah. But look at that peach. This is such a fun mug. And when it's warm, because it's not warm anymore, it's my cold second cup of coffee. Um, when it's warm, it's just, it's a very nice shape to hold. So, I do drink my coffee with a straw because I'm a weirdo. I just thought about that. Not something I usually show off. Um, I have one of the big jumbo boba straws that I can run through the dishwasher. And um, yeah, I, I drink my coffee with that. Try and stain my teeth a little less because they're bad. Anyways, uh, I went to Florida. I wasn't sure if I would get to go or not. And then I got to go and it was all kind of last minute and woo. Um, my husband had to work and I had the days to myself to just kind of go and do whatever. And again, I did do a kind of vlog style video while I was in Florida and I shared a whole bunch of random stuff that I did. So if you're interested in that kind of video, head on over and check it out. Um, I went to a museum and a yarn store and the ocean. We did make it to the ocean. Um, yeah, my nose still kind of hurts a little. I was telling my mom that I took an elbow to the nose and she's like, oh my God, Wes hit you? I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, no. I did not take an elbow to the nose. My poor husband took a nose to the elbow. <laughs> um, I was not paying attention. He was standing in front of me and a wave snuck up behind me. And you know, those ocean waves, when they sneak up on you and you're not prepared for them, they'll just wash you away, which is what happened. And I went straight nose first into his elbow. It, I have no idea how it is not purple. It hurts so bad. Um, but yeah, it still kind of hurts, um, but it's not purple. So doing good. Uh, had a lot of fun. It was a long drive there and a long drive back. It's about seven, seven and a half hours, something like that. Except of course you're going to have to stop and eat and you're going to have to make plenty of restroom breaks. And my husband drove the entire way there and the entire way back. That's how I got so much of that muscle burl hat done. Like he drove the whole time. It was fantastic. My only job was to stay awake, which I didn't do very well. I only napped a little bit. My job was to stay awake and talk to him, keep him entertained. I can do that. So it was fun and we had somebody taking care of the house and the kitty cats, but had to drop Pepper Ann off with my parents. Uh, so she spent the whole week at camp, loved it. We got back on Saturday and my parents lived two hours away. So I decided to wait until Monday and I went down to visit them, stayed the night and picked her up and brought her back. So I was gone for a week and then I was home long enough to do five loads of laundry and rolled out again. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been home, but I uh, had a wonderful visit with my parents. And again, I know I've said it, but I'm going to say it again. I am so proud of my dad 
all this hard work that he's doing for getting the screen printing business up and running. I'm just, I'm so impressed with him. And he is just working so hard. And this trip, I did the thing that I hate doing. I'm a graphic designer and I hate web design. Hate it. But you have to have it. If you're going to be a business, you have to have a website. So I helped him get all settled in with Squarespace. That is who I use. I'm sure you've heard of other people using them. They are fantastic. So I got him set up with that and it's changed a lot. It's so much easier to use than when I started many, many years ago. I got a website when I was in college. So it, it's, it's been a few years, a lot easier now. And so he, he's doing great. I showed him the basics on how it worked, got him set up with, you know, an idea and a game plan of what kind of pages he needs and off he went. It's looking great. So I'm just so proud of him. He's doing wonderful. Uh, when that is live, I will make sure and share it with you. Right now he's still building the website, so it's not quite available yet. But yeah, this week I am trying to get all the spooky stuff added to my Etsy shop. And I need to get caught up on Stephen West. Work on some of these lingering sock whips that I have. And yeah, I think that's everything I have planned. <sighs> Maybe some sleep. Sleep sounds really good. <laughs> uh, I think after today, it'll kind of calm down some. I've been trying to play catch up. Yeah, all these windows are just too fantastic. I am watching stuff blow in the wind. Okay. I think once I finish up all this work stuff today, I'll be kind of caught up on everything and I can just breathe, relax, and maybe do some, some creativeness. But I definitely came back from Florida just like ready to make all the spooky things. I'm loving it. It is so nice to be back home and chatting with y'all and I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and next week. Make sure that you take care of yourselves and I will see you again next week. Bye.